I'm Din Kadal, the author of Our Bali, Your Bali. We're here in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Here we are on the golden sand dunes for my first day. So why Riyadh? I'm here for the 29th Gourmand Book Awards. So tonight I'm doing my presentation at the Gourmand Book Awards. In a nutshell, we're out to create awareness and to raise more funds. I have about 1,200 books left. I need to raise another $100,000 that 100% of will go to the five foundations. Um, so that's why I'm here. The Gourmand Awards started in France 29 years ago. Um, the awards are held every 12 months and they're held in different countries around the world. The, the Gourmand Book Awards are also very big on supporting locals, on sustainability, on helping people where they need help. I was asked if I would mind to come and give an inspirational speech um, about our Bali, your Bali and, and what it achieved. Uh, this is a little bit about what happened on the stage. Food. Food memories are powerful. They connect us to our past and unlock our emotions. Our Bali, your Bali captured a moment in time. There is no doubt the COVID pandemic is something that many want to forget. I know firsthand the fight for survival was very real for so many. For so many, there was no food, no help, no support. And the fear of being alone, being abandoned, was suffocating and incapacitating. But this was a period of good too, a time when complete strangers opened their hearts to those in need. Yes, when combating extreme poverty, money is a necessity. But what is equally important is letting people know that they are not alone. Our Bali, Your Bali was raising money for five of Bali's most worthwhile charities and has provided aid to hundreds of thousands of people. During the worst of COVID, the aid being supplied was in the form of food. A lot more has been done with our Bali, your Bali money now, but food was a priority for a while there. Food. From one of my kitchens, the food we cooked, plus the money I donated, fed nearly 100,000 people. And that's only one charity, one of the five I've committed to support. I often wonder how many of those meals created food memories. A lot, I imagine. There are certainly strong food memories for my team and I, and our families. We cooked each meal for these poor souls with love. We cooked like we would cook for our own families. We weren't just serving fuel. We were serving joy and warmth and hope. It is important to note that poverty was prevalent in Bali before COVID. The pandemic just exacerbated the situation. I am here in Saudi Arabia as there's still an unwritten chapter in our Bali, your Bali. And I am hopeful that from this trip, will come further support and media coverage for those kind enough to care. Our Bali, your Bali has touched the lives of hundreds of thousands of people and can still help many more. If we set the charity aspect aside for a minute, Our Bali, your Bali is still a beautiful book full of stories, community spirit, recipes, and of course, food. Thank you all for listening. And thank you to you, Mr. Contro. I know you're gonna watch this later and your Gorman family for inviting me to be part of this amazing movement once more. Thank you. Our Bali, Your Bali proved to be much more than just this community cookbook that, that it started out as. It's growing, it's reaching people all around the globe, and it's turning out to be quite an advertisement for Indonesia and for Bali. And the reach of support has gone way beyond whatever I can imagine. Once I'd finished my speech, I was, I was looking around, um, meeting, meeting people, and I bumped into, by absolute coincidence, the ambassador for Indonesia to Rihad, Pat Abdul, and some of his staff. And what a lovely man he was. So after presenting Pat Abdul with uh, our Bali, your Bali book, I invited him to dinner at the Marriott Diplomatic Quarter. A beautiful building uh, designed to fit in with the surrounding. It was a very special place and a very special way to hold our Bali, your Bali dinner. 
I spent the day with the team at Marriott at the Diplomatic Quarter, uh, preparing the food for the evening. And during the day, I had a, an opportunity to partake in a, in a lovely Saudi dish. Food for me is the culture. It's, 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 uh, it's who show you what is the, where you're going, from where this uh, food coming, and what is the history for the food. Talk about this Silk Road, how many countries it's in the Silk Road, and this all countries. Uh, if you go in each country, there you find some food related to others, because they're taking from culture to where they was going. They enjoying with the food part of the celebration of other things, but for the other people, the food is meaning because I'm hungry and my kids are hungry and they need to feed them. Which is food, it's a very important element in these things as well. Yeah. Every dish tells a story. Exactly. So the meaning of food is strength, I think. Strength in family, strength in community, strength in bringing people together, strength in bringing back memories, whether they be happy or sad. Food is a very powerful thing. Marriott International have been so amazingly generous that I, I can't put into words how grateful I am for their support. Not only have they paid for my accommodation while I've been in Rehat, Marriott International are going to cover the cost of the dinner as well. So. This is all in aid of supporting our Bali or Bali and supporting my journey and allowing me to continue to help the people of Bali. So I cannot praise enough the, the professional hospitality people that are Marriott International. Absolutely amazing. This is the first time that I actually sat down with senior government officials. Ten people, so warm, so welcoming, so excited to be eating food from Indonesia in, in Saudi Arabia. It was, it was a great, great, great night. Who would have thought that such a small idea in our little community in Seminyak in Bali could reach the world like it has? I think it's amazing. There is no one that has been uh, done be before. You have a clear message that people not only just to visit Bali, but they, you want to make people to fall in love in Indonesia. So that's just more than amazing. Saya sangat senang. Thank you very much uh, for your invitation. I'm very happy and glad. Approach seperti yang Pak Din sebutkan itu itu bagus ya untuk mengingatkan kita kepada uh, apa namanya tempat kita asal. Jadi kalau nostalgianya dengan Bali, maka makanan Bali akan bisa membawa kita untuk mengingat kembali Bali. Nah, saya kira itu ide yang bagus. Saya dukung. Pak Abdul understood the, the, the message behind our Bali, your Bali. He understood why I'd written the book, and he understood why I was working so hard to get it around the world. Um, yes, yes, to help people, but also to promote Bali, to promote Indonesia, um, to let the world know how wonderful Indonesia truly is. We now have an Our Bali, Your Bali community, something that I could never have imagined. But as far away as, as Saudi Arabia, the feeling of community was strong. The connection to Indonesia and Bali was strong. People like Papa Abdul, Papa Ahad, and Marriott International, I couldn't have done this without them, the generosity to support our Bali, your Bali, and again, to support the wider community. I'm also thankful to have Edward Contro and his Gorman family as part of the our Bali, your Bali community too. A very big thank you that, to everybody that was involved in my trip to Rehat, Saudi Arabia. Together, we are all helping East Bali Property Project, Bali Children's Foundation, uh, Bali Wise, SOS, or Scholars of Sustenance, and Friends of the National Parks Foundation. I'm excited for the future and to watch the Our Bali, Your Bali community continue to grow.